Before we start anything, let's think about how we can solve this question. Here we have the product of x and tan inverse x. So we can basically use the integration by parts method. We know the integral of x, which is x squared over 2. But we don't have any direct equation for tan inverse x term. Therefore, we can prioritize the x term and use the tan inverse x term for the differentiation. Clear? Let's jump into the question. Integral of x value equals x squared over 2. We can write tan inverse x term as it is. Minus integral x squared over 2 value times differentiation of the tan inverse x. Differentiation of the tan inverse x value equals 1 over 1 plus x squared. Now, denominator value 2 is a constant. So, we can bring this 2 value outside of the integral. Then, we have 1 over 2 integral x squared over 1 plus x squared. Now, we need to evaluate integral x squared over 1 plus x squared. Here, the numerator degree is 2 and also the denominator degree is 2. So, we need to express the numerator value in terms of the denominator. Numerator value x squared we can write as x squared plus 1. To cancel out this plus 1 value, we can put minus 1. After that, we can divide numerator values from the denominator value. First one, x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1. Second one, 1 over x squared plus 1. Now we can cancel out numerator value x squared plus 1 for the denominator value x squared plus 1. Then we have 1 minus 1 over 1 plus x squared. Now we can consider the integral sign separately. First one, integral 1. Second one, integral 1 over 1 plus x squared. Integral 1 value equals x. Integral 1 over 1 plus x squared value we can write as tan inverse x. Finally, we need to substitute upper limit and lower limit for these answers. First one, x squared over 2 times tan inverse x. Upper limit 1 minus lower limit 0. Second one, x value. Upper limit 1 minus lower limit 0. Last one, tan inverse x. Upper limit 1 minus lower limit 0. Tan inverse 1 value equals pi over 4. Tan inverse 0 value equals 0. So, now we can write 1 over 2 times pi over 4 minus 0 times 0 minus half 1 minus pi over 4 minus 0. After that, we have pi over 8 minus half within bracket 1 minus pi over 4. Now we can remove the brackets and get the result pi over 8 minus half plus pi over 8. Pi over 8 plus pi over 8 value equals 2 pi over 8. Then we have the final answer as pi over 4 minus half.